rapid rule rundown on don't go in there. So after everybody's decided which color meeple they want to play, the person that goes first is the one who can say this incantation three times the fastest. Ego sum primus ludios. I don't know what it means. But they would then take their meeple, place it somewhere on the board in a circle. After the third meeple is placed in that room, a sequence is initiated. They get this token to let everybody know that it was currently their turn, and they pick up the number of dice shown on the cards to be rolled. The dice have faces on them. That just lets them know how much damage is being dealt out, and you use ghost tokens to keep track of that. If you run out of tokens, you just use anything to represent ghost tokens. The person who's deepest in the room is the one who first gets to pluck cards from this little shop row here. And that's all done until all the cards are uh, distributed. New cards are now placed on the board, and you just kind of do what the cards say. Now, that's pretty much the gist of it. If you feel comfortable, you can start playing now, but we'll go over the little mechanics of it all. So you see, the rooms have flashlights. Those flashlights indicate the damage that you can negate. And each room has like a little special ability, and you just follow what those abilities indicate. When it comes to the cards, you see the glowing dice, that indicates how many dice to roll. And you just add all those up during those sequences. And then you just follow whatever the rules on that card is. The hands indicate the curse. Obviously, that's bad. The person who wins is the one that has the least amount of curse. Now you're ready to play, don't go in there. Share this video with your friends so they can learn how to play too. And just remember, after three times, it's not a mistake, it's a house rule.